Hey guys, welcome back to another session of Random Dead for the first screen. I actually forgot what I was actually playing then. Uh, so yeah, so we're carrying on with obviously trying to find a doctor. So let's try and do that. Now, if you remember uh, in the last session, the resolution was quite shit. Um, if it's, I mean, I can't do anything about it, guys. I'm really sorry about it, but I just can't do anything about it. Sadly, for some reason, the um, resolution is just being there's no wide screen resolution, which I need to actually get a full like windowed like full mode. If you know what I mean? On my, you know, get a full resolution on my videos on YouTube. But oh well, I hope it doesn't bother you too much. Um, as long as you can still see the game, that's that's what makes it good, I suppose. It's a shame I can't really get a good you know, resolution. There is no like. 1080 by 720 is this weird fucking resolutions on this game. Very strange. I hope on the sequel to this game, uh, Day of the Zombie, I hope like um, there is a resolution which actually is widescreen. Because <laughs> it is going to get quite irritating. You know, see my videos like in a letterbox mode. Uh, yeah. She's a fucking. Well, that. The zombie's a little bit fucked. Die. Okay, well, you know, screw you. So we need to find this doctor. Uh, oh, we just came from that way. Jesus. She's a little bit irritated. I might want to stay away from her. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? N no. Ow, come on. Ah, really? Did that much damage to me? You gotta be serious. These crawlers are nasty. Is there any ammo in here? No. It's really weird how the crawlers make this weird, like, rolling sound. It's, ugh, it creeps me out a little bit. Any vents? No, okay, good. I might want to turn down the. Ra Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do something quickly. I might need to turn down the. Mouse sensitivity just a tad. There we go, now it's more better. Whoa, hello. Yeah, some crawlers over there, you can hear them. Now, apparently, I heard that my music level's a bit too low. There we go. Alright, okay, actually, yeah, turn it down a little bit. There we go. All right, okay. That should be a hell of a lot more better than what it was before. Pull my closer to my mouth as well. No. Please die. Ah, we're going the right way. How about I just dodge you fuckers and just get the hell out of there? I think the worst place to go to in a um, zombie apocalypse would be a hospital. Because if you were to think about it, like you'd get like all the doctors trying to help all these people out who are ill, and then it would just be a complete massacre, absolute massacre. Oh my god, you fat bitch just died already. Jesus. There we go. Um, we got the classic wheelchair zombie look. Kind of reminds me of, uh, if you ever seen the movie Doom, the movie based off the actual game Doom. Kind of reminds me of the part where uh, you actually see the infection of that, um, you see that guy in the wheelchair being infected by the virus, that's pretty cool. I loved that part, it was quite funny actually. No. You stay down. Thank you, right. Excuse me, sir, can you please step back away from me? <sighs> Ooh, a velvet armor, nice. What would be kind of cool to see is if there was a zombie, like, strapped down to a bed, and, um, you could actually try and see it, you can actually, you know, try and see it, like, try and get it out of the, like, the straps that it has, when it's, like, Arms and whatnot, that'd be pretty cool. Ooh, a fire axe, yes. This is what we need. Now, let me tell you, this fire axe is very, very fucking deadly. 
very deadly. Another wheelchair zombie. I love how <laughs> I love how the doctors and nurses and that are actually in like the wheelchairs and fucking beds as well. Fucking hell. Bloody hell. This thing's goddamn lethal. Well, it is a fire axe, so I wouldn't be surprised. Fucking hell. This is a glitchy motherfucking weapon. Ow, bastard. No, you f stay back. Oh shit. I need health. Really badly. Oh, what? Oh, come on. So what, I shot a zombie in the head like three times and didn't even die. Brilliant. Yeah, baseball bat, nah. Well then. I'm a little fucked, don't I? Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Right, okay. Ooh, radio. Nice. Let's test it out. Yay, so if you didn't hear that, basically... So this game's kind of based off the actual movie, Land of the Dead. So uh, pretty much what happened, what's happened is, is that um, they were just talking about um, how to make body armor out of household items. And uh, then he started going about uh, how Hoffman, the guy who, earn, who owns Fiddler's Green, is saying that um, the perimeter in his city is obviously... 100% secure and safe and whatnot, and uh, yeah, no zombies to get in, but we will see. Right, I'm gonna avoid you, because I really need some health and I really don't want to lose any more. Oh shit. No, go away. Well, there is the doctor. Now, he does, he does look a little bit suspicious, I will give you that. He doesn't look at all safe to speak to, but oh well. The doctor had come for supplies a few days ago. The men he was with were murdered by those living dead. Once the killing started, he locked himself in this room. It kept him safe, but now he couldn't get out. The doctor said that if I went to the basement, I could open the door by flicking an electrical switch down there. First, I needed his pass card to get into the basement. He buzzed me into the offices so I could fetch it. I love how he was typing in something, yeah, there was only like three or four buttons there. That was kind of funny. Right, I don't know if we were coming across a new kind of infection yet. I'm not quite sure. Oh, here we go. Actually, before we actually carry on, I'm actually going to save it because I don't want to die. Die. What an awesome way to die. Oh shit. Headshot. Bloody hell. Hmm, hammer. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? I love using a hammer. Ooh, medication. Nice. I actually keep on getting to um, search for the cabinets and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> Why would there be a... Why would there be a fucking grenade in a whatever? Uh, you know, I'm not gonna even question. Oh shit! No! You 
bars that you don't do that. God, I fucking scared the shit out of me. Nope. Anything in here? Yeah. Ammo. Hey, there we go. And that's why, kids, you always search cabinets. You may find a grenade inside a cabinet. Nope. I ain't taking any chances of you, so die already, please. Laundry. <laughs> I love that it's still in. <laughs> Whatever. I just love how like the laundry is still in there, even though it's like capsized and whatnot. Oh yes. Well, someone was ready for the apocalypse. Jesus. Scientists believe the undead can smell living human flesh from a mile away. Hmm. Fair enough. Smart bastards then. Oh, ah, you bitch! What is your problem? I just wanted to come in, turn on the generator. Oh shit! Oh fuck this! Nope. Wow. Okay. Um. Oh fucking hell! I am so fucked. Now, did you all die? Oh shit, is that a fire spreading? Oh, fucking tits. <laughs> oh yes, got a Glock now. Oh, forgot you had, you had this in the game. Now, if you look, you still got zombies and whatnot actually moving inside the body bags, which is kind of cool. Nice little feature. Now I think it takes like um, four or five shots to actually kill a zombie with a Glock. Uh, the Glock's actually most effectively used by to uh, the zombies which have weapons. Now we haven't come across a zombie yet with a, you know... We haven't actually come across a, a zombie yet with a melee weapon, but when we do, uh, the effective way to kill him is by... with a Glock. I should be using a revolver now, seeing I've got a lot of ammo for it. Hello. Oh shit. Hello. Hello. The fuck? Ah, oh, bloody hell. How do I miss that? Come on. Uh, no, nah, I can't use us. I can't be asked to use shovel. I really can't. See, you got that fucking sound again. Fucking, that's a creepy sound. I really, I want to do a gaming mystery on this sound actually. Cause it's a really creepy sound. Whoa, bloody hell! Oh, tits. I really should have stayed at home. Oh, here comes Mr. One Leg over there. Right. Just had a heart attack. I love it when you run out of sprint, you sound like you're gonna have a heart attack. It's brilliant. <laughs> wow. Cheeky motherfucker. Don't 
Do I need to have a zombie in here? No. Look, I just want to. God damn. That's such a creepy sound. Hmm, I'm wondering. Game glitch up. I'm just being retarded. Okay, it's kind of like a little maze. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't even think that. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> These zombies, man. Seriously. I think I don't really think the music actually fits the this level, I don't think. In my opinion anyway. Fucking hell, three shots to kill him, and I shot him in the head three times. Bloody hell. Ah, bloody hell. I just want my medication. Leave me alone. Oh Jesus! Fucking hell! Oh my God, they're everywhere, bollocks! No, I don't want to die today. You dead? Oh fucking hell! King Al. I was nearly done for then. Ah, eh, lead pipe might as well. I really should have kept the axe, but you know. I'm retarded, so, you know. Okie dokie, right. Auto saving, nice. God, it's a huge basement, bloody hell. I love it when their bodies just glitch up after you kill them. Hello. Hello. Hello again. Alright then. Wanna play that way then? Come on then. Bastard. God, this weapon's fucking slow, but it's powerful, though. Well, that's strange. She's slightly blue. <laughs> How odd. 